This motion is fallout of Monday's meeting between the leadership of the House and service chiefs, which focused on how to flush out insurgency in the Northeast with the aid of sophisticated hardware. Sponsor of the motion, Representative Tahir Munguno, is urging the House to support a special intervention fund as a matter of urgency. There is nowhere in the world that security agencies are funded through the normal budgetary provisions. The truth of the matter is if we are funding them, we must know exactly what are they going to do with the funds. The Speaker of the House of Representatives had earlier briefed the lawmakers on the outcome of the meeting held with security chiefs. This motion by Honorable Mongano um, is a result of uh, some of the outcomes of that, um, of that meeting. And there will be a couple more. Deputy Speaker of the House was to insist that a core part of discussions must dwell on border control. The issue that was raised and which everybody now knows in the country is about the issue of border control. And as a matter of fact, we know that this equipment with regard to the Tokona aircraft has been paid for. Another dimension raised by the minority leader of the House is the manner with which non-governmental organizations source funds meant for mitigating the humanitarian crisis that has been created by the crisis and yet do not apply these funds. Angels, by way of ascertaining how many NGOs do we have in Nigeria, the source of their sustenance, the presiding officer asked the relevant committees to investigate the operations of NGOs in the country. In another development, Representative Satomi Ahmed from Bruno State wants the federal government to prioritize funding for counterinsurgency operations in the country. Combating terrorism, deadly henchmen, cattle rustlers, kidnappers, oil thieves, five line bundles, arm robbery across the country. Are we are that such operations exist in all the six geopolitical zones of the country. Plenary resumes on Wednesday. From the National Assembly, Grace Ike, STV News.